Kia ora folks, RDB, local Bushman here. What I thought we'd do this evening is, um, I thought I'd run you guys through, through the channel update, so uh, stay tuned. Kia ora folks, RDB, your local Bushman here. Kia ora folks, RDB, your local Bushman here. What I thought we'd do today is, um, as I mentioned at the start of this video, we'll talk about the channel updates, what's been happening with this channel last year. Um, with my f screen production course studies over for the year, um, I've had a lot of free time now. So I've got a lot of free time in between now and next year. So I'm going to tell you what's happening over the next two months. I'm producing a lot of content I've got to catch up on. Obviously, Te Aroa Trail Tales, telling all my tales and stories about what happened on the Te Aroa Trail, tips I can give to people, things that people don't look at, and other things and subtle nuances I've noticed. Um, apologies for the music. I'm playing some uh, Russian discotheca in the background. It's sort of my type of music and gets me into a workout, which I'm going to do shortly. Anyway... As I mentioned, there are tons of videos to come out. I've got Te Aroa Trail Tales videos. Uh, you guys seen some of my DIY, make your own gear videos, pumping out a lot of those again. I've got some theory videos about outdoor gear and from a design point of view, um, outdoor skills theory. I've got outdoor heritage, Aotearoa. I'm just working on the finishing touches of Sir Edmund Hillary's bio biographic video. So they'll be up within the next two months. There's no set deadline for that, but the next two months would be fine. What else do we got? What else we got? Yeah, as I said, uh, you guys seen some of my DIY stuff. There's some really good ideas there. So I'm continuing with that. Um, not tons, but a few gear reviews that are past the six months used and abused trial period, as you guys know, with uh, Rust as bushcraft. I, as a bushcrafter, love to abuse gear to the point that you know every subtle nuance, feature, and detail, and more importantly to me, as a person who has his own uh, outdoor gear manufacturing business, the design. Why was it designed like that? What are those, its pros and cons, its flaws, uh, its strengths, that sort of nature. As I said, we've got a lot, uh, quite a few outdoor theory videos to come out. I've got some other things dabbling into, as you guys know. I do different outdoor activities such as trail running, plant ID, uh, things of that nature besides bushcraft, besides my main passion. So, let's get to it. Okay, so, this is uh, just a quick, quick glance of what's to come. Okay, so I've got a, my pair of these. Mudcore Triple Threes, okay? I've used and abused these for six months now. Solid six months. I mean, not like within a six month period. How some reviewers might say they've used it within a six month period, maybe three times. I've used this every single day for six months straight as a mud running, tramping, bushcraft shoe. So I can give you a full lowdown on these. These are the Innovate Mudcore Triple Threes. Fantastic, pure, good design on this. Um, the tread's amazing. So that gear review will be coming in the next two months. Uh, there's a few more gear I have to review, finish off the review videos for uh, from my Tiaro Trail uh, journey. So, and that's part of that is these. The Meryl Moab 2 Vent Wide. Because you know I'm a Mary, Maori people, wide feet, so... Yeah, these are UK 14, uh, slightly too big for me, uh, but I allowed it for the extra foot length on the trail. So I've got this. And I finally got the lowdown on this. You guys might have seen this in a few of my videos before. Okay, this is the Om Classic 32. A great pack, fantastic pack. Um, a few design flaws I can see from it personally, not just from a running point of view or a tramping backpacking point of view. Uh, overall, the design features for running and other things that could be worked out for a different version. Obviously, this is a uh, very old style pack. This, 
Just a little basic lowdown. This pack was designed in the 60s to 70s, okay? I will correct myself on this video if I am wrong. Um, with lightweight recyclable materials. That was back in the time when outdoor gear in even running used very heavy style canvas packs. So they designed a polyester nylon based pack back then, uh, a lightweight one. Obviously this is more suitable as um, some channels might call them grand weenies, I'll call them grand fascists because I can sort of understand to an extent um, grand fascism where you're trying to annihilate every single gram just because you can and you want to gloat about it, let's be realistic about it. Uh, but from a compact point of view, as a bushcrafter into trail running as well, uh, yeah, a lot of things to say about this. So that will be coming out in the next two months. Finally, I've got my gear review of the Tokes Titanium 750 mil pot. Okay. So I've got that review coming up in the Tom Shuko Titanium Meths Burner, Alcohol Burner. Everyone calls them Alcohol Burner. Here in New Zealand, as you know, we call it Meths because that's what we use. I've got the review of that coming out shortly. Um, another gear review, two more now, We're down to tarps. So mate, most of the stuff is if follow the most of this is carry over from when I did gear reviews quite a while ago. Um oh back. I need to back roll that again. Sorry about that. What I mean is a few years ago I was actually approached by quite a few manufacturers to do reviews. Now I was quite embarrassed to put it on the channel channel as I mentioned before because I'm not that type of guy. I can't be bought out. Period. I refuse to be bought out. Yeah, I I speak for the inner passion of all outdoorsmen everywhere. You know, who want to know the gear design for why it was designed. Not to be bought out and say, oh, you know, blah, 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 click this, click this, click bait title. I'm not that type of YouTuber, as you guys know. I'm, I'm handy. I keep it real. Because that's how most outdoor uh, outdoorsmen and women are. They just hunt the ass, and I'm hunt the ass. I'm super hundy. So, um, yeah, I've got a gear review, as you know. Uh, I use this on the Tell Trail. DD Hammock Super Light Tarp. Bloody fantastic. It's had a few repair jobs on the trail. I use this for about 300 uh, tramping Ks, or backpacking Ks, um, throughout New Zealand before I done my 3,000 plus kilometer Tell Tell Trail long tramp through hike okay so I've got a go review on that and the last one is this this is the DD hammocks uh, poncho light uh, it's it's not a tarp it's a poncho but I use it basically as a poncho slash half bivy slash ground sheet sort of thing as well as a poncho so it's a quite a multiversal piece of kit I've got a review about this coming up shortly so that's basically the review videos all um, set and mentioned. Other videos I've got coming are as follows. I actually wrote down some cue cards on my uh, uh, YouTube channel to-do list uh, board over here. As I mentioned, I've got a couple videos. The titles might change, the theme might change, but they're basically the same. Outdoor Heritage, I've told you about uh, DIY MYOG gear series coming out. I've told you about that too. Um, some books, some really good books to get you into that. I've also got a video you guys might be interested, particularly you bushcrafters. How old is the term bushcraft? How old do you think it is? A lot of, just a bit of back history quickly, very quickly, because I'm trying to roll through all these uh, cue cards here, these uh, scripts, pages that I've written now. I've written out two pages, scripts, pages for this video. Bushcraft is not a modern term, I'll give you that, and it's older than 30 years. It's actually a lot older than most old YouTubers on, bushcraft YouTubers on YouTube channel right now. They're older than you, or particularly here in New Zealand. But there's a video coming out shortly, and I want to do, uh, dig into the trade journals to actually find out in the old mountaineering journals how old that bushcraft term was applied in New Zealand. Really old, you'll be fascinated how old it is. So, and this was mainly a... Uh, parody slash mocking back at all those 
uh, young people who do not do research on our on our topic on bushcraft. It's a really old um, skill set uh, tree, a tree of skill sets. It's really old, and that term, really old. It's it's not a nitpicky or to disagree. It is sort of a mock and parody back towards those people to say, hey, you know, young fellow or old fellow, do your research. Um, but yeah, so there's that video coming up. Gear reviews. I got heaps of gear to go through. As if I know, I sort of done a gear overload syndrome video before. I've got another one coming back. The reason why is because I've been pulling out a lot of outdoor gear from my uh, storage units all around the country. I've got a lot of gear, different manufacturers too. Um, you'll be surprised the different manufacturers I got. Uh, so I've got Moa Brock Sports. They were a company, a Chinese outdoor manufacturing company. Uh, really good quality, solid quality. Um, that made outdoor gears a few years ago. Unfortunately, they're gone now from the market. Um, but they made a lot of different type of gear. Really nice designs. They gave me a couple of packs a couple of years ago. So I'll be finishing that review of that. And there's a few other things here and there. Um, I won't do any knife reviews just to let you guys know. I've got some knife theories and stuff like that. Uh, because knives are generally covered here on YouTube, particularly with a lot of bushcrafters. Um, and knives are a very personal thing. I do have a video coming out about slashes versus axes. It's a very traditional piece of uh, bushman kit or bushcrafting kit here in New Zealand, using a slasher head as an axe. Um, so I've got videos like that coming up. What else? I've got some tag videos. Now the tag videos, one of them is really important. The list of all the people I want to tag in this video is up to 48 people at the moment. Uh, it's expected to get a lot bigger than that. Uh, it is, it, it's a bit of a secret one, so I'm going to wait until I'm ready to release that. That will be in the next month. Data from this video. So, that will be coming out shortly. Um, as you guys have seen the last couple weeks from this video, I've been doing a lot of DIY videos, as I said, there's different ideas and theories and I want to test out with outdoor gear, pushing the limits, how far can you go, and why it's like this, and then efficiency and all that stuff, so there's going to be quite a few videos about that, but also, as you guys know, I started my own manufacturing tarp business purely because the market wasn't filled here in New Zealand for not ultra light, but really light, extremely light, but extremely cheap or in, uh, inexpensive, I should say. A kit that's handcrafted by people who actually do it. That's why I started my company. Uh, for those folks who want to know about my company's name, it's called Bush Sports Aotearoa. Um, Bush Sports Aotearoa. And what that means to me is, briefly, is I call different things in the bush, bush sports, like bushcraft, native plant ID, hunting, trapping, tramping, things of that nature. I call that bush sports. That's what it is to me. So bush sports Aotearoa, that's my company name for you folks who want to know that. I've got some products, as you guys know, um, mainly tarps and bivy bags at the moment that I'll be giving out um, for trial periods through different bushcraft, that backpack, tramper, trail running type YouTubers here on uh, YouTube, uh, different channels to prototype and test from their thoughts and feedbacks on it. Um, but yeah, big term, long term. Now, the reason, as I said, I'm pumping out a lot of videos in the next two months is because I'm doing a bachelor's degree next year in screen production. That's for three years. I might be able to smash it out in two and a half. So, I'm going to be uploading very modestly in between, because I'll be busy with university. As you folks know, I just finished university maybe two days ago, uh, from this video. So two days ago, I finished university for the year, my studies in screen production, so I've got that out of the way. As I've said, bachelors, I'm doing a bachelors of uh, arts and screen production. My minor will be Te Reo Māori, but I'm also learning a Slavic language now. 
this goes to after university plans it's an adventure it's actually more than that i can't tell you it i mentioned before i didn't want to tell you guys about the other law trail and that's pretty epic for a simple humble bushcrafter type person who's used to base camps and stuff doing a, a through hike this this expedition this type of adventure you could say this the fun i call it fun and suffering at once type of thing is so epic it's got oh it's just i can't say too much but it's so epic that is coming out in 2023 2024 so you guys might have to stick around for a few years to wait and to see what that happens um loose ends i've got a tie up competition i've got competition time as you folks from last year will remember I was running a competition for Tiaro Trail for my announcement video. Now I am giving it away, not this pot obviously, but a Tox Titanium uh, Ultralight Cook Set. This is actually a spare that um, one of the suppliers who used to send me stuff for gear reviews sent me two. One's mine obviously. Um, and the second one I, I was going to sell it but I thought I'd tie up this loose end. So got a Tox Titanium Ultralight cook set, 550mm, it's a solid fuel cook set, you can use a Trangia obviously if you've got a Trangia or Tom Shuko burner, I might add some stuff to that, we'll see what happens now, I'm going to tie that loose end, I'm going to close the competition for that on the 27th of December 2019, so if you want to enter or your friends want to enter, all you have to do is subscribe obviously and um just tell me your thoughts about cookware that's all i want to know and just and to um message me on facebook all my social links are in the description box always i have a running script that always posts on every single video i upload on my social links so just let me know somehow that you're interested in the competition as i said it is a tox titanium cook set solid fuel cook set i'll put a picture of it somewhere in this video um, brand new obviously, brand spanking new, they are worth at the moment in New Zealand $142.99 on special, they are RP for $149.99, so if you guys want to enter in that competition, all you have to do is subscribe to Rust as Bushcraft and just basically tell me, and that you're interested in, just tell me your thoughts and ideas and what you like about outdoor cookware in general, it could be about titanium, could be about aluminum, aluminium as some people call it, I call it alloy, because that's what it is, it's an alloy, um, stainless steel, it could be anything, burners, just anything to do with outdoor cooking in general, it could be your favourite recipe, so if you guys want to enter in that, let me know. Now moving forward, I'm back rolling now, so, and as, a, as you guys know, I'm pretty rough on this channel, I smoke cigarettes, I'm a trail runner pretty handy stuff there so apologies if you see me smoking on this video I don't really edit that stuff out I just put it up on here because yeah I'm pretty handy so um, apologies for that this rolls back to as I said why I'm learning a Slavic language while I'm listening to Slavic style music and this expedition type thing obviously you know what Slavs are they're a type of I call them Korkanoid people, Eurasian people. I may or may not be going to one of these countries I'm going to post somewhere in this video. I'm not going to tell you where, I'm not going to reveal anything about the details of this adventure of a lifetime. I mean, Teodoro Trail in itself is an adventure of a lifetime. This thing's so epic. You're going to be completely blown away or you're going to like want to harm yourself and I don't want you you to do that it's so handy as, as you heard me say pretty much all this year it's handy this thing's hardcore this thing's intense really intense like really it makes the other little trail look like a uh, like a boy like a child it's that intense i can't tell you exactly what it is but it involves some of the obviously learning a slavic language and listening to Slavic based uh, music now the activity I'm going to be doing 
an activity I'm going to be doing along this adventure or once a trip in a lifetime sort of thing is some of the stuff I've done before but it's a lot more intense that's all I can say really I don't want to reveal too much about it but just to sort of um, announce to you folks ahead of the video and ahead of those videos that I'll be pumping out in the next couple of years is I will be doing a giveaway as well for that as well uh, the competition for that giveaway for my 2023-2024 adventure once in a lifetime somewhere in one of the Slavic countries I'm going to put somewhere in this video um, and all the non amount of Slavic countries in this video I'm going to do a giveaway about that now this giveaway I don't know what it is going to be at the moment it could be a pack a really nice pack it could be um, cookware um, but the opening date for that, I'm going to put that at August 2020. So if you want to be into that competition as well, I'll be doing a separate video for that competition, not the announcement of this 2023-2024 Adventure of a Lifetime sort of um, trip, voyage, adventure, whatever you want to call it. As I said, I don't want to announce too much info about it yet because it's way too intense. Like, super epic handy I'm about to swear but I'm going to refrain it's that it's that intense it's so intense it's not funny but I'm going to announce that uh, competition officially in August 2020 but if you guys would like to enter that competition as well um, all you got to do is subscribe obviously and just tell me do you like anything about Slavic culture it could be the people uh, the woman, the food, um, that that Slavic country, let's say Bulgaria or Lithuania, for an example, um, or whatever, you know, just tell me something about that. Also, put that you're interested in the 2023-2024 giveaway for that one. So there's two giveaways. I'm tying up a loose end for the Tiago Trail giveaway, as well as the. Um, next big adventure thing well that's it folks there's a lot of info I had to put in this information informative video um, as I get apologies for smoking on video you folks I'm, I don't drink alcohol I don't really do much I hardly ever eat bad food because I'm qu quite such a health freak um, if I do smoke cigarettes I do trail run um, what else random things I can say I do actually hug trees <laughs> But I will chop it down to build a shelter. Don't get me wrong. Um, so that's it, folks. I uh, hope you guys are staying in contact with those uh, competitions. Um, let me guys know your thoughts about all this information. Um, if you're trying to dig for information about that trip, adventure, voyage, adventure of a lifetime, expedition, whatever you want to call it, in 2023, 2024, I will never give that information away ever there's actually only one person on my subscriber list list that actually knows about it because he's he or she because I don't want to reveal too much they are I'll use pronouns they are involved with it directly so that's all I can say um, hope you guys enjoyed that long epic mountain information video um, I'm going to get a workout on and then continue shooting videos. Ka kite on the blessed trails, folks. And uh, I will see you again shortly. See you later. <laughs>